San Francisco is a beautiful, busy city in California. There is so much to do in this city, so in this video, I'm going to share with you the best seven things that we did while we were there. We only had three days to explore the city, which doesn't really leave much time to see all the beauty that the city has to offer. However, we saw everything that we wanted to see, and these are the best ones if you're on a time crunch like we were. So let's get straight into the video. The first step was checking into our hotel. We stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel at Embarcadero. We chose this hotel because of its great location and also the stunning, breathtaking views of the city and Bay Area. The hotel covers the top 11 floors of a 48-story building, so as you can imagine, every room has fantastic views. We opted for a bridge view room, which is the best choice if you're staying at this hotel. It's totally worth the extra. However, what we didn't know is that San Francisco can be very cloudy. We didn't know this when we booked it. So when we first checked in, as you can see, it's pretty cloudy outside and we couldn't see anything you can't see the bridge you couldn't see anything another thing to know that I didn't know before going to San Francisco is that it can get pretty cold here so I didn't even check the weather before we left because I thought that San Francisco was always warm because I thought California is always warm however it was actually a bit chilly especially in the mornings and late at night and I'd only brought one jumper to wear during travel so I was stuck wearing that every day so it's important to check check the weather before you go. We were there in September. You can see through the windows here that it's pretty foggy outside, but you still get a fantastic view of the city. You just can't see the bridge and everything. I'll show you a little bit later on. When it's a clear day, you can see everything. Back to the room tour, the room was so spacious. It had all the amenities that you would expect in a luxury hotel. So it had all the glassware and we also had a mini bar in the room. We had everything to make tea and coffees. Those were included and the waters were included in the cost of the room. All the extra mini bar stuff was not included. However, there was a price list and they were really good at replacing it after we'd used them. My favorite part of this hotel stay was the bathroom a look at this beautiful view you get from the bathtub it was so gorgeous even on a cloudy day so the bathroom had the robes we had slippers we had a separate bath and shower there was however only one sink in the bathroom it wasn't a double vanity that was what we would have expected here are some videos of the view on a clear day. You can see Alcatraz right there and also you can get gorgeous views of the Golden Gate Bridge. Those are two of the major attractions that there are to do in San Francisco. So it was so surreal and amazing to get views from them from our hotel room. So number one on my list of the best things to do in San Francisco is to visit Pier 39. This is the first place we went after arriving in San Francisco and I'm so glad we did. It is the perfect place to start. It is right on the waterfront with some shopping. You can get your souvenirs and things from here and it's also got some entertainment. There's usually something live and interesting going on here and also there are some gorgeous restaurants. We ate at a few different places here. However, Bubba Gump sticks in my mind this restaurant has a really gorgeous view of the whole bay and pier you must make sure you try some clam chowder in a bread bowl while you're in san francisco it tastes so good if you do not like clam chowder at least try one of the different soups that they do in the bread bowls it's so delicious there's also quite a few magic shops which we enjoyed in fact when we were there there was a magic performer doing some live magic and it was really entertaining there's a few people sat down watching it so it's such a great place to spend the day and enjoy we still haven't discussed the main attraction at this pier and it is the san francisco sea lions the sea lions are so so adorable it's so nice to just watch them there amongst the boats they come and go as they please and they make that sea lion noise which is so adorable they're so cute they all congregate at the k dock on the pier 39 marina and and there's information boards that gives you info about the sea lions. I actually looked up for you guys if the sea lions are there all year round because we didn't even know that they were there before we traveled. We just happened to find them. According to my research online, the best time to see the sea lions is between July and mid-May. And we went in September and sure enough, they were there. That is pretty much all year round. It looks like the only time that they might not be there is between June to July when it says that they leave the dock to breathe. If any anyone's been in San Francisco in June and July, make sure you leave it in the comments to let everyone else know if they are there or not. 
Moving on to attraction number two, I really do say this with a huge caution if you happen to be going in September or October like I did. Number two is Alcatraz, which is an island off of San Francisco Bay. It is iconic and well known for its time when this island was used as a maximum security prison and it had really famous people like Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly locked up in here. I had to put this on the list because it is so iconic and it's really interesting to visit this place and learn so much about what happened here and the people who were in prison there. And I believe most of the year it's perfectly fine. However, oh my goodness, when we went, it was unbearable with the flies. There were flies everywhere. Why does no one talk about this? Honestly, I cannot stress the amount of flies. It was disgusting. Like I literally couldn't even record. I was terrified to open my mouth. My hood was completely covering myself. It felt so icky and just... It was so horrible. You start the trip to Alcatraz on this boat and the flies start here, you guys. It completely ruined the trip for my husband and I and many other people. As soon as we got to Alcatraz, we wanted to leave immediately. It was so uncomfortable. The only time when you're not surrounded by flies is when you're actually inside the prison. As soon as you step out, the flies are unbearable. I believe the fly infestation is only a problem in September and October, but don't say I didn't warn you. Now to somewhere much more pleasant. Number three is Fisherman. Wharf. This is another waterfront position similar to Pier 39 with souvenir shop, great views and lovely bars and restaurants. You can also try that beautiful clam chowder and the lovely sourdough bread right here. Number four is the iconic Lombard Street, which is known to be one of, if not the most, curviest road in the world. You might also recognize the street as it's been in lots and lots of movies. It's actually very steep. I definitely wouldn't want to drive here. And there's actually quite a lot of people who have homes here. It does have a beautiful view over San Francisco from the top of the street. If you want to try the cable cars while you're in San Francisco, that's also a fantastic idea. And you can get a cable car that drops you off right at the top of the street. You can also drive down the street, although I definitely wouldn't want to. It's got some really sharp turns and it's really steep as well. You can also walk up the street and there are sidewalks either side of it and you can also kind of walk on the street but it's also really busy on the street because there are a lot of cars coming past so it's probably better to use the sidewalk. San Francisco in general is really hilly, there's a lot of hills so when you're walking around it's important to bear that in mind. Number five is the Golden Gate Bridge, it's probably already the first thing on your list but it's so worth mentioning. There are many places to view the Golden Gate Bridge and all its beauty however we watched it from a place in Sausalito it was someone who was from there who took us to this place and it was really good because as you can see there was no one there just our tour group from here you can also see Alcatraz which is what my husband is pointing to there behind me and also one of the guys we were on a tour with found a crab I don't know where this crab came from exactly I guess the sea but it's lovely and you might also find a nice crab we love this viewpoint of the bridge if you know any other nice ones put them in the comments and we also drove over the bridge which was nice to do if you're enjoying this video and you love this kind of content go ahead and subscribe I really appreciate it and it helps me out so so much. We were heading out on our tour to a wine tasting at Napa Valley and Sonoma County which is my number six on my list recommendation is to do a wine tasting. Californian wines are well known and are amongst my favorite wines so it's worth trying whilst you're out there. We did a semi-private wine tour and it was a gorgeous. We went to a number of different vineyards and wineries and we loved them all. And number seven on my list is to visit the Palace of Fine Arts. This structure is located in the marina district of san francisco it is huge so much bigger than we expected and the grounds are absolutely gorgeous and serene it's so nice to spend some time around here i believe it was originally built only about a hundred years ago however it just looks so much older than that it really looks like ancient ruins it is quite magnificent and a wonderful free activity to do while you're in san francisco I would highly recommend finding the time in your itinerary to come down here and enjoy these sights. 
Now, as you guys know, I like to leave a little surprise for those of you who made it to the end of this video. And my bonus for you today is to enjoy a meal at Tony's Pizza. It's located in the heart of San Francisco's Little Italy, and it has some delicious award-winning pizzas you can try. We were actually told about this place by two locals, and it was so worth it. The staff are so lovely. The environment and vibe is amazing. And that's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do leave a comment and a thumbs up if you liked it, and see you in the next one.